Um, now, um, talking about more on the localizations, um, I'm not sure if you are really, if you are already fam familiarized with ARB uh, files, and I I never see it be before the flower, um, but they are basically in, like JSON of all words what you can have or what you want have, uh, but with extra features. There are a, in internet a lot of ARMB managers, there are a lot of tools where you can only put your, your default language, then you can translate all words using Google Translate or wherever. There are a lot of tools and you can Google it. Uh, since I'm not using too much here, um, so um, I can't uh, recommend you, maybe some another people from, from Trophy can suggest you which tool you can use for it. But uh, I know there are some people using um, localize. Yeah, this one. Uh, but this this one you need to pay for it. But maybe there are another solutions. Uh, maybe there are some open source solution. But as I know, the ARB files, they are standards. So there are, um, some script here, what is running the Flutter Gen L10M, and what is part of the default of the inter internal yasing, internal yasing, yeah. Uh, here uh, we are using for localization the, the, the default translations of Flutter. So it means you can, uh, this documentation is also valid for, for, for get more information. So as, as you can see here, they're using the, the delegate. Each type of um, um, pattern design has own localization delegates. For example, if you want to use material widgets, you could also import the global material localizations. You know, also, you want to use Copperty node, but uh, or also the default widgets. Uh, but for, for us, we are using the, the we are already using that, as, as you can see it here. And also we are using the, the default translation of what we have. And also we are um, adding the, the, the localizations um, delegates from each screen what you want to have. So and three base localizations, what we have here is um, the the most common values, what we can use, for example, will probably um, whole application we will use walk or the about or show some errors or just the OK button or select origin um, so, and so, so on. And also we have the translation for saved places here and there are no, not too much, I guess. Yeah, but the saved places translation is basically of, of this screen translation, okay? So right now we already have translated the your places, I can change to English, yeah. Your places is already translated and also some menu That, but, but what is not yet translated is show bush root. For example, here you can see they are not yet translated. Um, I don't know what can be translated here, maybe the name or just the work. But there are some screams what is not yet translated um, or, or this one. But since they are just um, a list of bosses and and all of the of the lists are basically the name of, of the bus. I I think it's not needed to really a translation here. But as you can see here on the title, maybe we can change it. Yeah, there's the, uh, that's still on English. Or if we change to Deutsch, uh, you can see it. Yeah, that's already translated. Yeah, maybe it's missing for Spanish. Yeah, okay. So the translation or, or the base of the translation files is inside the translation folder or the root level, okay? So we use a, a, a tool 
or, or a command from Flutter, what's called um, GNL10M, what you can select where is your, or the location of your files, or well, where could be your output and and so and so on. So inside the or where where you can see the translation when you run this script, it will generate the translations folder. Inside the translation folder, you can see an a class of translations. What what is generated already by by the um, Flutter tool. So Everything inside the translation, we never touch um, by by ourselves. I mean, we never change the code with hand. If we want to to change some some word here, we need to change on the translation. Then we need to run the script, and then it will generate it again. That is how it works. So. As I already mentioned, uh, we all we also um, have own translation for each screen. So it means inside the save it place it, you should have your own translation files. So and that is what you can see here. And this this translation is part of the um, save it places what's already tran translated. So um, that's it about the translations. I hope, and that's that's not too complicated. It's it's too easy if you just change the the ARB file, then run the script. Then you don't need to care about what is inside here. Maybe uh, you only need to care about when you are creating your own translation or your own page. Okay. Okay. 